All right, Doc Positive here at Paws, and we have Pookie the Kitty Cat. Pookie the Kitty Cat came in because mom's been concerned. Mom's a nurse, and mom had noticed the kitty cat has been coughing a lot lately. And uh, the kitty cat used to throw up hairballs, and that's actually what cats usually do. They either throw them up or poop them out. Coughing, oftentimes people think is a sign of hairballs in cats, and it's really not. But uh, this kitty cat, we listen to Pookie's lungs, and Pookie's lungs are very, very noisy. Lots of wheezing, lots of noise in there. We talked about feline asthma. Fortunately, mom brought us a stool sample. In that stool sample, the nurses just came in and they said to mom, they said, are you sure that that stool sample is from one of your cats? And I said, why? They said, well, because the kitty cat has hookworms, roundworms, and whipworms. Now, Doc Positive said, uh, hey, let me have a look at that because kitty cats typically do not get whipworms, but Pookie does have lungworms. Lungworm eggs look very much like whipworm eggs that dogs get. Uh, and lungworms are an uh, internal parasite. Part of their life cycle is spent in the lung tissue with kitty cats, and they do cause a tremendous amount of inflammation and coughing. We typically don't see a lot of lungworms, so I said to mom, one of the things you never want to hear your doctor say is we don't see this problem a lot because so we're going to do a little investigating on the best way to treat lungworms with Pookie here. Mom's a nurse, so she's okay with that. And so we're going to do a, a little bit of homework on lungworms in kitty cats and we're going to get Pookie feeling much better and get rid of that nasty cough. All right, Bye all now. right, we're here with Doc Positive today. One thing you never want to hear Doc Positive say is, wow, this is an interesting case. When it comes to medicine, you want to be boring. Interesting cases mean we don't see a lot of it or it's more of a problem. We did see a kitty cat the other day with lungworm. Lungworm is a very interesting case. We don't see a whole lot of lungworm. In fact, if you look at the list, here are the top 10 reasons kitty cats visit the veterinarian according to veterinary pet insurance and nowhere on that list will you find lungworm. Kitty cats get lungworm by uh, swallowing the larval stages and the egg stages of lungworm. Actually, uh, earthworms, slugs, and snails are the intermediate host. So if kitty cats uh, eat uh, earthworm, snail, slug, uh, intentionally, accidentally, even if they actually ingest any dirt. Interesting fact Dr. Positive found out is that 20% of packaged potting soil that you buy in a store is already infected with roundworm eggs. That is an amazing fact. So if your cat is a 100% indoor cat, but you have potted plants, your cat likes to dig in the dirt, dig in the soil, maybe use a, a big potted plant for a, an occasional litter box, your kitty cat is at risk for intestinal parasites, even though we don't go outside. Kitty cat though, with the lungworm we saw the other day, Pookie came in for coughing. And uh, we listened to Pookie's lungs, and they sounded terrible. Wheezing, lots of noise. And we said, wow, I think this kitty cat has asthma. That's a whole other video, but kitty cats do get feline asthma. Uh, however, right about that time, one of the nurses came in and said to the owner, they said, are you sure this stool sample is from Pookie? Because we're seeing roundworms, hookworms, and whipworms, which we usually find in dogs. Doc Positive said, uh-oh, let me have a look at that. They weren't whipworm eggs at all. There were lungworm eggs. So kitty cats eat a snail, a slug, an earthworm, some dirt. They actually ingest um, that 
part of the life cycle and lungworms uh, then migrate through the kitty cat system and they do live in the lungs and they cause irritation inflammation in the lungs a lot of kitty cats might not have any coughing or irritation at all but some cats will have a very allergic response a lot of coughing and these kitty cats will cough up larval stages egg stages and then they swallow that and those uh, larval stages and egg stages are what we saw in the stool sample so interestingly enough dog paws have found out that there's a product a deworming product we've been using for cats for a while called profender and profender back in the old days we used to give people four pills to deworm their cat we would tell people give your kitty cat two pills today two pills in two weeks and they'd look at us like we got two heads they're like how in the heck am i going to get four pills into my cat with profender profender is a topical product like uh, some flea medication but it eliminates roundworms hookworms tapeworms and doc positive discovered profender also does take care of lungworms so it's a great product Pookie, by the way, 100% indoor cat. Very interesting. We found out that indoor cats are susceptible to roundworms. Indoor cats are susceptible to tapeworm from flea. Indoor cats are susceptible to lungworm, roundworm, tapeworm. So oftentimes we recommend that we dose your indoor or outdoor cat twice a year with Profender. I personally do my own cats uh, every March or April with a dose of Profender and again September and October. So we eliminate uh, internal parasites twice a year, keep them uh, cleaned out from intestinal parasites, lung parasites, and uh, so Pookie is going to do great. We dewormed with the Profender. We also put Pookie on a little bit of steroid for the inflammation and the coughing. And we're expecting great results from Profender. So, an interesting case. Not at all boring, but when it comes to medicine, you want to be boring. Bye now.